Ken from Ken's Custom Iron. With all the things that are going on these days with the shutdowns and self-quarantining and social distancing, we thought we'd put together some project ideas that are really easy to do so you can get your family out in the forge and spend some quality time together forging some projects. So let's say we just grab the family and get going. The first project we're going to be working on is a little happy snake. Okay, he's got two eyes and a mouth, he's got a big smile on his face, and we're going to be making him out of some 3 8 rod. Now you can use whatever material you have on hand, if it's 5 16 or quarter inch, or a small piece of rebar, whatever you want to use is fine. And we're going to be working in a coal forge, and all these projects can easily be done in a gas forge or an induction heater, or a torch if, you have, if that's what you have to use. Um, and the only tools we'll be using for starting out here is a center punch and a hot chisel and a hand hammer. So we'll get started by getting our iron heated up and we're going to start by forging his head. The first thing we need to do is shape his head and I'm just going to flatten him out. Just a few hammer blows just to flatten out his head like that. Okay. And if it's still hot enough, I can grab my center punch and we're going to give him a couple of eyes. Now I'm going to turn him over, put some eyes on the other side. So there's his eyes. Now in the next heat, we're going to use our chisel, we're going to go over to the vise now and grab him in the vise and use the hot chisel to give him a big smile. Just going to clamp him in the middle of the vise, use my hot chisel, use rapid light blows. Works better with a lighter hammer. And then if you want to just hammer that up a little bit. There, we gave him a big smiley face. Okay, now we need to cut him off. And I'm going to use my cutoff hardy. And you can just guess at the length there. Cut him off whatever length you like. Okay, now we need to heat him up again and draw out the tail. Now we're going to draw out the tail. We're just going to draw a long taper. Now you can draw this out and make this as long as you'd like. Uh, well, I think we'll just leave him there like that. Okay. On to the next step. Now we're going to bend up his body and tail. We're going to start with this little bend on the end and then we'll go to bend the body. Um, and we're going to move it over to the horn over here and bend this on the horn. And we're going to have to cool this off to bend the body. And we'll show you how that goes. I'm just going to use some light blows and curl up his tail here. And get it to look like that. Now we'll heat it up again and we'll cool this part off in a little can of water because we'll have to tap on there with our hammer and we don't want to deform that.
Okay, there we've got them bent up. You know, you can bend them any way you like. Use your imagination. Make them look like a, make them look like a happy snake. So that project's done. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, our next project is going to be a little lucky horseshoe. We'll be making this out of 3 ace rod. Uh, and again, you can use whatever size you have available. 3 ace is a pretty good size. Um, you will need a rectangular punch to put in the nail holes. And if you don't have one, they're pretty easy to make. Um, I made this one out of a, a grade 8 bolt. Just forge a small taper on the end. Um, I didn't even take off the threads. I just forged it all up. You can clean this up on a grinder or a belt sander or a file. Um, the end dimension for using a 3 8 rod is a, it's a little bit under an eighth of an inch for thickness and just a little over an eighth of an inch for length. Okay, so let's heat up our iron and we'll, we're going to bend the, it into a U-shape over the horn. Now we're going to bend it over the horn into a U-shape. So it looks something like that. Okay, we've got our 3 ace rod bent to into U shape. Now I'm just going to use my hammer and just flatten this out. So it looks something like a horseshoe. Now we'll heat this up again, take another heat, and hot punch three nail holes in each side. Okay, so now we've got our horseshoe bent up and flattened out. Uh, we're just going to use this rectangular punch to punch a couple of nail holes in our horseshoe. I'll heat it up again, punch the other side. Okay, now we're going to punch the holes on the other side. There, we've got our horseshoe bent and punched. We'll take one more heat and cut it off right here. Okay, we're going to cut off our horseshoe. Um, I'm using a hot chisel. Anytime you're using a hot chisel, make sure you use a, a cut plate so you don't mess up your anvil or your hot chisel. And when you start getting close to getting cut through, you got to hit pretty light because you don't want that piece to go flying. In fact, the safest way is to grab this with a pair of tongs and you can bend it off and break it off. And there's our little Lucky horseshoe. Okay, so now we're going to do a little uh, marshmallow hot dog stick with a little steer head on it. Again, we're making this out of 3 ace rod, but you can make this out of whatever size you have available. 3 ace is a pretty good size. Um, the length, you can make that whatever length you'd like. This one happens to be about 22 inches long. So let's get started with that project. To make the head, we're going to flatten out about two inches of this 3 8 rod. So it looks something like that. 
Now we're going to use our hot chisel to split this down the middle about three quarters of an inch or so. So now we're going to take another heat. Uh, we need to bend these little legs open, so we'll go over here to the horn and tap on this and spread those open. Okay, there we've got them spread apart. Let's heat these up again. We'll draw these out into a little bit of a point. There, we're just drawing out the points. You don't need to get them real sharp. So we've got one side done. Let's do the other side. There, we've got our horns done. Now we'll take one more heat and bend up the horns. Now we'll just go over to the horn and put a little curl in the end of our horns. Just using some light blows, put a little bend in it. There, we've got our horns. Yeah, we've got to give this one a little bit more. There, now we'll use our center punch to do the eyes and the nose. And now we can use our hot chisel to make a little mark right here. And there's our little sear head handle. Now the other end will just draw to a long point. So you can put a hot dog or a marshmallow on the end. Ready? So let's just draw a long taper.
Okay, I've got my taper drawn out to the length that I want. Now I'm just going to use some really light plunging blows. Kind of smooth everything out. Okay, well now that you have a hot dog stick, you'll need to have a campfire to cook it on, and you'll need a little campfire poker to manage your campfire. So here we've got a little uh, easy way to make a campfire poker, again on a 3 8 rod. Um, we'll do the working end and the handle. So let's get started. To make this campfire poker, we're going to start by forging a small square taper on the end of the rod, and then we'll flatten this portion out. We're going to forge our short taper. Try to keep a short heat when you're doing this. You just want to make a nice little point on the end. About like that. Now we'll take the next heat and we're going to flatten this portion out. Now I'm going to flatten this out. Okay, I've got this flattened out about the width of my anvil, which is about four and a half inches. So we'll heat this up again, and we're going to bend it right here where the transition starts. We'll bend that over the edge of the anvil. Now I'm going to hold the, my transition spot right there on the edge of the anvil, and just bend this down into a 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to go over to the horn, turn it over and go over to the horn and bend this around. I like a little reverse bend, so I'm going to put that reverse bend in. And now I'm off here a little bit. I've got more material on this side of the line, so I'm just going to tap this down on top until I get it nice and straight. And there's our working end of our poker. Okay, now we're going to do the handle end. And we want to dress the end up a little bit, so we're just going to flatten this out. I'm going to hold my material at a little bit of an angle and make a fishtail end on here. It looks like this. Okay, to do the fishtail, I'm holding my material at an angle and I'm working out at the, on the edge of the anvil. And we're just going to flatten this out and let that material spread. Get it kind of thin on the end and make a little fishtail like that. Now I'll take another heat and we're going to just curl this over a little bit so to dress up the end a little bit more. So I'm just going to hold my material over the edge of the anvil, take my hammer, knock that down, then use some, some light horizontal blows. Bend this around. Just to give that a little bit of a shape. So now we've got our end forged. We're going to heat this up again, take a little bit longer heat. Um, we might have to cool the very tip off in our water can because we might have to pound on there. And then we're going to go over to the horn over here and bend our handle around the end of the horn.
And there's our handle. Okay, if you've got your handle bent up and it doesn't happen to line up with your the working end of your poker, because usually the, the tip of that should line up with your handle, no need to worry. We can just flatten out a spot somewhere in here, wherever you'd like. We'll make it square and we'll put a twist in it and then we can line them up. Okay, now you can just pick a spot anywhere you'd like on here, um, on your poker. And we're just going to square this area up here so we can put a twist in it. So let's just square this up. Turn it at 90 degrees. Just trying to get it into a square shape. Now you can just flatten this down too if you wanted to do that and twist that. You need to change the profile on the round iron because if you twist round iron without doing anything, it'll it'll be twisted, but it'll still be round. It won't look like you did anything. So. So we're just going to square this up like that. Now we'll heat it up again, and we'll go over to the vise and grab it with a wrench and give it a twist. Okay, so let's just grab this in the vise here. Put my twisting wrench on here. Got my wire brush handy. Just want to go nice and easy. And I want to make sure my working end lines up with my handle. And I'm going to call that good right there. Now to straighten that, you can just come over here and grab it. Give it a few squeezes in the vise. Rotate it a little bit. That'll get it pretty straight. Now we can look down it and see how it looks. It looks like everything lines up pretty good. Well, that wraps up our presentation for four quick little projects you can do with your family. Um, we'll all get through this little period that we're going through right now. So let's all just stick together. Keep on hammering. If you have any questions about anything, be sure to contact us. Um, and leave a comment in the comment section below. And what else, Sam? <laughs> subscribe. And hit the subscribe button. Thank you.